everyone, my name's Scott and welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything. Have I got something different for you today? I was here a few months ago at Glasgow's Buchanan bus station and I noticed a bus called Hannon Coach. And it caught my eye because it was operating between Glasgow and Belfast. Now some of you might think, isn't there a thing in the way called the Irish Sea? Well yes there is, but this is what makes this so unique. From here, the bus will go to Cairn Ryan, board the ferry, go to the port of Belfast, drive off and take passengers into the city centre. Now as far as I know that's unique here in the UK. I think there are two operators who will drive onto ferries to take you to the Western Isles, but between two major cities I'm not quite sure. There might actually be something in London where the Continental coaches leave from London, board ferries and drive into France. Maybe you can tell me that. But I believe this could be a very unusual if not unique service. So in the next few minutes we're heading down to the bus, we're going to get on board and I'll speak to you when we're on the ferry. Okay. Well, we've made it on board the ferry. I didn't film the actual driving onto the ferry, although I wanted to because I was specifically told no photography in the port area. I was wondering about costs as well. This ticket on Hannon Coach from Glasgow City Centre to Belfast City Centre cost £39. Now if you were to go by bus from Glasgow City Centre to Glasgow Airport, fly EasyJet to Belfast International and then a bus transfer from there into the city centre, it's going to cost around about £30 to £40 pounds anyway. The only difference is that the bus takes 5 hours 45 minutes, flying on EasyJet with a one and a half hour check-in and the time used for the transfers at each end, about 4 hours. I was speaking to a guy on board the bus and he said he's using the bus because it's cheaper, fares on EasyJet have shot up and I think I know the reason why. Jeez, oh it's absolutely freezing out there. I think I'll stay indoors for a little while. Oh, this is a beautiful ferry, by the way.
I think part of the reason why EasyJet fares have gone up between Glasgow and Belfast is because there's no competition now. Air Lingus Regional used to fly from Glasgow to Belfast City, uh, George Best Airport, but those services stopped at the end of February. It was to be taken over by a franchise called Emerald Airlines, and that was announced back in December. But two months later, there's no sign of these flights recommencing. So I think it's EasyJet or no one, or hand and coach. I had to put a hat on because it's way too cold out here. The captain said there was a swell of about one meter. And now that we've reached the headland just beyond Cairn Ryan, you can actually feel the, the ferry starting to do this a little bit. It'll be fine. There's so many different levels to it. And more stairs. And more stairs. I'm still trying to get over the disappointment of not being able to film the bus into the ferry. It was like trying to put a bit of thread through a needle. It was so tight for this bus, but he managed to do it without any problems. I'm going to try and film the bus at least leaving the ferry at Belfast. Right, I know I keep saying this, but I am going in because it's far too cold out here now. This is much more comfortable than flying on EasyJet. If you're still watching at this point, you must be enjoying this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I found myself a corner seat in this lovely lounge. I'm starting to regret not paying any attention to the bus driver when he let us off the bus. He told us what deck the bus was parked on and I cannot remember. I think it's number 5 but I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out when we get to Belfast.
So what did I think of Hanan Coach? Not bad, not bad at all. There was only one slight technical problem, and that was the driver didn't have a QR reading code on his mobile phone, and therefore couldn't read our tickets. We had to rely on writing our names down on a piece of paper. Always have a plan B, always have a plan B. Would I use them again? Probably not, unless I wanted a really rock bottom fare. Because let's face it, the bus there arrived 20 minutes late. That was due to the ferry leaving late from Cairn Ryan and it's still the best part of two hours slower than flying. So I probably wouldn't use them again unless I was really desperate for that cheapest fare. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather unusual adventure, traveling by bus and then onto a ferry. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.